Hey guys, I'm Tristan Pope from Tristan Pope Photography and behind the camera is George Spiros, the app developer of Filmmaker. And today we have a lot of equipment here that we'd love to share with you. I get asked a lot, hey Tristan, what is the best film equipment we can have for our film? And to that I go, well, what's your film? Tell me your story. Because what equipment you pick is extremely dependent on what your story is, what your budget is, and what the needs of your film are. What's really cool with everything on this table is, is that it's extremely affordable and it takes techniques from Filmmaking 101 and it makes it handheld. It takes the tried and true equipment and it puts it in the palm of your hand instead of a giant rig. If you're gonna shoot on a mobile device, I honestly believe that you should stay small. Use the benefits of the small form factor of the phone to your advantage. So let's check out some of this gear. We're gonna be talking about three axis electronic gimbal stabilizers today, all handheld. I'm gonna shove it in your face. You're gonna want it. You're gonna want this shit. <laughs> you should use that. So when I shot Romance in New York City, they hadn't come out with these electronic stabilizers for mobile phones yet. So we used something that's normal to every camera and it's a glide cam. I attached a piece to the top and then you can attach you know one of these one of these things that holds your iPhones and then you can just put your iPhone in there and now you've got a nice smooth motion. It's not going to be buttery smooth like you'd get with an electronic stabilizer but it works great. So don't ever think that just because we're showing you the coolest tech that old, old, you know, technology doesn't work. Like this stuff is the film standard. Filmmaking 101 will always apply to anything we do, but it's really cool to see what comes out and to try it out on new film shots. We also use things like the Gorillapod, for instance. This thing we actually used, so we attached it like this to my face, and it was like a three axis and could be turned, and it was really interesting. Um, but then about, I don't know, a few months after we finished shooting, all of these electronic stabilizers, three axis gimbals started coming out. And everybody was getting really interested because they're super affordable, they're really small, and they do a lot. So this is kind of like a shootout. There's three stabilizers on this table. We've got ICANN, we've got the ZU Evolution Z1, and then we've got Feutex G4 three axis gimbal handheld stabilizer. These all have different uses, and I guess I'm going to leave it up to you guys, but I'm going to kind of give you a little idea of which one I think is the workhorse of the, of the bunch. So let's start with the ICANN. So this is the ICANN, and this is the first stabilizer that I ever had. It comes with its own carrying case, which I love. It's all padded in there. It looks beautiful, very professional. You've got your charger. You've got your overseas chargers for anything you need and then you've got your stabilizer so this is the stabilizer itself and here is the battery which just makes you feel like a badass because boom it's loaded ready to go so because we've got the smaller six in this we haven't put a counterbalance on it um, and all you need to do is hit the power button on the bottom and it will jiggle a little bit and do a little dance and now it works. So now you're, you're counterbalanced and it works really well. And you can actually move this to where you want it and then the gears will kind of like stutter on the inside. It kind of feels like you're breaking it but you're not. And now you can do this. You can turn pan to your right, pan to your left. Has a nice ease in, ease out. You can pan up, pan down. You cannot make really fast motions with this one. If you do, this is what it's going to look like. Yep, see it has to figure out what's happening. You can't, it, there's, a, there's literally a, a stop point there, stop point there, and so you don't have that full fluidity sometimes. But if you move your hand with it, then it works pretty well. So the ICANN can hold the 6 and it can also hold the 6 plus, but you have to attach a counterbalance to it. This is the counterbalance system. It's not the strongest thing, but I, I believe that if you were innovative enough, you could take this off as it slides and you could put a heavier one on. However, this is limited in how much weight it can hold. So I wouldn't go and put like a 50 pound weight on there. It's gonna throw everything off no matter what you have in there. 
So you have to put it on here, and then this screw, do not lose this screw. There is literally only one of them, and I've lost it six times, and you have to order a new one, or you gotta go to the, the, the hardware store and get another one. We have the counterbalance on there, and here's the 6S Plus. And I have a case on here, but you can still just throw it in. And now, just like I showed you before, you turn it on. And there you go. It's balanced. Pretty cool, right? <clears throat> this is the only thing about the ICANN. It can hold the 6S Plus, or the 6 Plus, or whatever Plus version you have. But it's going to have a little difficulty. You might want to put a little more weight on here because this is what will happen. It will, it will, out, it will fall out of balance, essentially. Um, yeah, yeah, as you're seeing right now. This is the 6S Plus in here. Um, I have a Moment uh, adapter so that I can put the Moment lenses on there. These are really heavy. So you go ahead and screw that in there. It just attaches. And now there's, OK. What you can see right now is you see where the phone is? See how it's just falling there? Before, when we had the, without the lens, it kind of goes there without even turning it on. There's no way this will counterbalance. I guarantee it. So I'm going to turn it on, and it's going to do the little jiggly app dance. <laughs> so it's just, there's, there's nothing you can do about it. I don't even think you could put enough weight on this side. It's just, it's the limitations of the motor in this one. So if you have the 6S Plus, you can't really put adapters on it. However, if you have the 6, which is here, we're just going to throw that in there. And then you put, let's say, an alo clip. So we're going to snap that on. And now see where it's hanging? It's just perfectly, it's almost balanced right as it is. So you're going to turn it on. And there it is. It's balanced. So this one is really good if you have one of the smaller phones. And the thing is, is that, you know, the bigger ones, the pluses, they have optical image stabilization, especially the 6S for video. And that's a really cool function. But if you're putting it into an electronic stabilizer, you don't really need it because it's already giving you that smoothness. It's, it's stabilizing it for you. All your shake, all your jumping and stuff like that, it's stabilizing it for you. So there's a benefit to having the smaller phone in that you can attach more things to the phone itself. This is a great one because it has a lot of feedback in the handle. You know what's happening, you know when it's gonna stop, you know, you know what's going on, and it's cheap. I think that's the key word on this one. It's actually really affordable. Um, it's 99.99, I don't actually know how much it is. Um, but it's, it's, it's more affordable than some of the other options out there, but you are also you know, paying for you know, a little bit less functionality. There's no buttons on it. What you see is what you get. The motion is simple and straight to the point, but it works really well. So for instance, Dancers of Zurich, we use this majority of the time. So this is the Feiyutech. Uh, this is a three-axis gimbal stabilizer as well. It's electronic. This thing is kind of, they, their company builds these not only for the iPhone, but for GoPros. And I feel like they have a lot of expandability. However, they do not work with a 6S Plus or a 6 Plus. They only work with the 6s. Comes in a box, obviously, this is not a case. I mean, you could use this as a case if you wanted to. It doesn't have a carrying case like the iCan had, but it is super solid. It's very light, it's extremely light, it's smaller and it has a bunch of different options by tapping this button and I'll show you those in a second. So this only works with your six. So let's throw a six in there. This is a little wonky because if this breaks you're kind of screwed because it's if you look here it's like it's literally welded to the machinery. So <clears throat> if you snap that you've pretty much broken your stabilizer. Um, but I don't think it'll snap, it's, it's made with metal. But you throw your phone in there, and then you just turn it on by tapping the button on the bottom. And then you hold that, and there you go. Now this one, 
See how hard I'm hitting that? I'm, I'm like throwing it. It is not losing the stabilization at all. I mean, and then, and then the really cool thing here is that I can go, I can, hold on, I think it's, okay. I think I can double tap here. Yes. I can go upside down. This is one of the cooler features of this, and this is why this company makes it for GoPros and iPhones, because you can literally follow someone on a skateboard, you can just move around with it, and you've got that really great shot, you know, if you wanna like, just stay with someone on, on their board, and you wanna get the wheels. Um, this is the kind of stuff that you'd have to pay big money for, for a rail system, for a big rig, for a, you know, body suit. This is handheld for your phone. I think it's awesome. And then you can do turns where it has a nice ease in, ease out. Basically what you can do with this one is you can set different modes. One will allow you to lock on target. So if you wanna stay with someone, so let's say I'm shooting George, for instance, shooting me, and I wanna stay on him. I can just stay on him very smoothly from any angle I want and pan with him. And it's not gonna move. It will tilt left, I mean, it'll pan left and it'll pan right with a nice ease, but it'll always stay at that point, no matter where my hand goes. Now, if I double tap, this is what's gonna happen. If I turn up, now it pans up and it pans down, both with an easing motion, which is great. This really is, my, in my opinion, this is the stabilizer you get if you're a skateboarder, some sort of a sports player, something where you really need those shots where you need something like this and you wanna go upside down and you wanna get a really crazy shot. The other thing about this is that it has an extension. So this is the extension. All you gotta do, screw that buddy in there. Super simple. And then if you wanted to, if you look in there, you could screw another one in. Now you've got an extended cord and you can literally go all over the place. And if you wanted to do, let's say a crane shot. Whee! All right, there it is. Let's say if you wanted to do something really cool where you up, you could do like this. I mean, that's, a, that's amazing. A rig that would, you know, if you extended this with let's say like two or three more, you're starting to get into crane territory. And that's expensive, this amount of, motion, this range. It's absolutely amazing. Um, it is making a very strange noise. I think the... Yeah, could you hear that? It's, it's basically the gears are struggling a little bit because it's a little bit, you know, it's, it's because you're adding, you're basically adding g-force to it because I'm doing this and it's got more, so it's having a little bit more trouble. It's gravity physics, that kind of shit. But it's really great. I mean, look how fast I'm doing that. Can you see it when I do it that fast? It's just, it's not losing it. It's not shaking and it's not losing it. You've got the perfect shot. And then let's say you wanted to pan with it. You just double tap and then it'll look at the ground. It'll look wherever you want it to look. It takes a little bit of playing around with. As you can see, I'm not always getting it to go exactly where I would want it. Um, but if the more you play with it, the more you learn it. And uh, this one definitely has a lot of options, especially for those sports guys. I'm telling you, this is, the, this is the one I'd go with. This is carbon fiber. So, you know, it's super light and it's really easy to carry, throw in your bag, it's not gonna break. Um, and what's really cool is if you have one of those really long sessions with your friends, it has an extender for your battery. Now that is absolutely instrumental. So you would unscrew this, you would pop out the batteries that are in there, and this is the extender. You take this extender, you would throw it in there, and that makes it bigger. And then you take two larger batteries and now you have an extended battery time. 
which also that extends this, the length of this as well. So when you attach this, now it's even longer. This is great. I mean, this is, this is seriously one of my favorites. The problem is, is that I use the 6 Plus more than I use the, 6, uh, the 6S, the smaller one. Um, and this won't hold it. So if, you're, if you have a smaller phone and you don't mind about optical image stabilization because you're getting it with this, then this is a great option. So now I'm going to show you what I consider the workhorse of all of these three axis gimbals. It's the Xeon Z1 Smooth. This thing is absolutely phenomenal. It will hold your 6S Plus, it will hold your 6, it will hold your small children, it will hold anything you put in it. I brought this thing on a helicopter and the g-forces of the helicopter wind didn't shake it, didn't get it off axis. It's a beast. Let me show you this thing. So here's your Z1. It's got a smaller handle, very nice to grip. It's got three buttons. One is for panning up, one is for panning down, and one is for tilting. That's an amazing feature. Then it also has a counterbalance. So if you're putting, so you've got your two phones here, right? You've got your 6S and then you've got your 6S Plus. If you put the 6S Plus in there, you need weight. It has a screw for that and you just screw that weight right in there. Awesome, right? So let's throw it in there. All right, so we're in. So you turn it on from the bottom, just like the uh, G4 one that I showed, and then you hit the middle button, and there it is. I mean, this thing snaps into place. This is a fast, fast machine. It has a really good motor in it. It's silent. There's a lot of room here, which is great because if you're doing this, there's a lot of room for it to move. Um, the thing that I really love about this one is that I brought it up in a helicopter and the G-forces of the helicopter <clears throat> weren't knocking it out of place. And if I lost it, for instance, let's say I lost it for a second, I literally just hit that button, boom back. Super fast. And the other thing that this does is when I'm hitting the up button, I can pan up and I can pan down. That's a really cool feature. Now, if you notice, it's a little bit off. Now I just have to double tap and now I have access to the tilt. That's really cool in my opinion. You can do some really interesting shots with that. If you want it to be like, whoa, one of those weird, you know, horror movie shots or something like that or you know you want to do something crazy it also helps you to balance it so like when I was on the helicopter and I had no time to think um, the best thing for me to do was to literally instead of trying to re-stabilize it was to just go okay I need to move left I need to move right and then you just double tap it again or you triple tap or you one tap there it is and you can go up and you can go down and so this also has the nice smoothing to the right and the left. See how it eases out and eases in? It's great. All of them have that feature. It's an awesome feature. Every, any movie you ever see, when you see a pan, it doesn't ever go, stop. It always does that nice ease out and ease in. Um, the other thing is that this one locks onto my position and then you can actually make it turn down. So it, see how it tilts? And then if you want to do it, and then it'll go up. Okay, so now we're locked. And we can go down. We can go up. We can go down. <laughs> we can go up. Are you guys dizzy yet? This one also does the, you can flip it around. But you don't have to set a, a feature on the buttons. It automatically, because of all this space, it will know and have the ability to just adjust. So I'm going to drop this to the ground. And look at that. You're now on the ground shooting. And then once again, you can use those buttons to tilt up. So if you want to see it higher or you could, you know, shoot down if you want to see the cool laces on your kicks or whatever the hell the kids are saying these days. And you've just got, you know, a nice feature there where then you can go, Hey, I need to get back up and it's fast. I'm going to try to attach a moment lens to this. Um, they're super heavy. This is already the six plus the six S plus. 
and let's see if it balances out. So this is the wide angle, this is the heavier lens. And it just kind of plugs in there. Now we're gonna hit that button, let's see what happens. Nope, it is, it's balanced, right? It's on. Let's see how it won't work. Now this is where the motor in this excels. So let's do a little MacGyver, okay? Always bring gaff tape with you everywhere, FYI. It's super helpful. If you take a couple quarters, so we have a couple quarters here, and we've already actually made one with, I've, I've figured out what the, exact, what the exact change needed to balance this was. It's five quarters and a nickel. So if you take these quarters, you put it into my little, my little ghetto rig here, and you attach it to the balance. I know this looks terrible, but ideally what you do is you'd wrap another piece of tape around there and you'd be all set. Now it's got the moment lens, which is really heavy. And now it's on and it's balanced. The motor in here is a workhorse. That's why I call this the workhorse of all the axis stabilizers. And I honestly, if I were to get one of them, it would be this one because it has so many different options, that tilting, that panning, that, that, upside down you know I mean there's just you can do anything you want with this one and it works really well plus like the um, G4 you can put a battery extender on here and you can put pole extenders on here as well um, so you can get all of that in one. Do you guys shoot with GoPros at all and stuff like um, that? Nah mostly I just shoot with my phone. It's so smooth like the recording on it is so smooth. Yeah. Dude, this oh, is yeah. so fucking hard, dude. You should, I should get one of these. This is the one I would recommend. I brought this up in a helicopter. I did dancing shots with this. And it's just, it's super smooth. It's super fast. And it has a lot of options for you. And it feels great. On the left, you've got the Xeon Z1 Smooth, which I consider the workhorse of the, of the pack. In the middle here, you've got the G4 3-axis handheld Ste steady gable, gimbal, 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 all right. <laughs> and then over here, we've got the, uh, the ICANN. Now, one thing that I didn't mention that you should definitely take into consideration, because when I was filming Romance in New York, I needed battery power. I needed battery power constantly. And I have an anchor battery pack for that. This thing will charge my phone up to seven or eight times from zero. And you can literally run it into your phone while you're going. Um, let me show you something. So if you take your phone and pick whatever you want, pick your poison here. We'll go with this one because it's out. You put your phone in here. <clears throat> you need it to be on this side because you need the lens to be visible because if it was over here, the lens would get blocked. Now, let's, let's put the power it up, up, up. No, it doesn't. You, there's no place for your power. To me, that is, you know, that's how these are built. That's what they're meant for. But that's, that's, it's kind of what you're losing for getting handheld. If you had a three axis stabilizer, like, you know, the professionals have, that's one post here, one post here, and your, your phone or your camera is here, then you'd have somewhere to plug it in. If that's the kind of thing that you need, like I needed on, on Romance in New York, um, I wouldn't recommend a handheld stabilizer. I would go with something old school, which it's not old school. I mean, <laughs> I say old school because it, we're talking about iPhones and all this really cool tech, but this is the industry standard. You get a glide cam, you get a steady cam, you get a rig like this. And with this, you don't have to worry about there being a giant electronic thing stabilizing it. You can plug things into it, you can attach any lens you want to it, and you can always counterbalance it because you've got the old school counterbalance method where there's just lots of weights, you can move it in and out. It's extremely, you know, uh, versatile. And this thing you could throw across the room and it's not gonna break. So I always say this to everyone, these are awesome tools. These are great tools for your arsenal. And I get asked all the time, well, what's the best? What's the best thing for me to get for my film? And the first thing I ask somebody is I say, well, what's your story? Because what your story is, is gonna determine what equipment you need. The cool thing though, is that the equipment is getting cooler 
better, smaller, more advanced, and so you have a ton of options now. So if anything, I'd go out there, I would try some stuff out, maybe you buy it, check it out. If it doesn't work, maybe there's a good return policy, amazon.com rentals, you know, it's perfect. So um, yeah, no, this is great stuff. These are great tools. I would recommend all of these, especially if you're on a budget. And uh, yeah, I hope this has been helpful. Hi, my hand. <laughs> I'm tired, fuck you. It's got a nice ease in, ease out. You can do tilting, tilt, nah. 